So recall Meyer Y torus sequence. So there is a space X that is covered by two sets A and B. So A and B are included in X and A intersection B is further included in A and B. So you just copy the sequence down into this long exact homology sequence. So HN of A intersection B, this part comes here. Then this A and B become direct sum, HN A direct sum with HN B and then this X comes here. And then you keep going down to HN minus 1 hn minus 2 all the way to h0. Now before we go on to torus and Klein bottle, I want to make an important uh, remark. So say you have a long exact sequence of modules. So you have m1 going to m2 going to m3 and this chain is really long. And then you pick up an arrow which is of interest to you. So say this arrow phi you are interested in because you can talk something about it. You can uh, find out its meaning uh, geometrically. And you want to break the sequence here, right here, so that you can compute something. So what you do is you copy this part of the sequence down. M1, M2, M3 and then write image of phi here and then put 0 and then for the rest of the sequence you go 0 m4 divided by image of phi that is co-kernel of phi m5 and so on so you continue so you can splice it right here and that is what we are going to use uh, in the computation in torus and Klein bottle we now compute uh homology groups of Klein bottle and torus using the Meyer Y torus sequence. So first focus on the Klein bottle right here. So what you do is you cut this Klein bottle in half exactly from here. So once you cut it in half you get two pieces piece A and piece B. So you have cut it in half these are the half pieces. Now look this A and B both look like Mobius bands. So we are basically joining this side with this side so these are the two pieces of the these are in some sense mirror images you glue them together you get the Klein bottle back now notice that this is a degree 2 map for joining why it is a degree 2 map let us start tracing it so I start tracing from now I go all the way down come here then go under and then come back here so this is one circle and then I go all the way from here keep on going keep on going and come back right here this is the second circle so you're going around the circle twice so again you go like this once then under complete one revolution then go like this all the way around and then you come back like this this is the second revolution and you have to glue it this way so when you start I'm going around means I'm going around gluing this side so when I'm going around like this I'm gluing this side with this side so there is a degree 2 map for gluing and you can see this A and B are Mobius bands so they are homotopically equivalent to a circle and we will consider reduced homology groups uh, because that is easy for computation so you can say that reduced homology group of both A and B would be zero. Only thing we are worried about is the first homology group which is integers and then H2, H3 etc are all zero. So HI are all zero for I greater or equal to two for both A and B and they both intersect in a circle. So it is just the boundary of the Mobius band on which we are uh, sticking them together. So that is a big circle, although that circle goes around itself twice. So it's a degree two map, but it is a circle. So the moral of the story here is that A intersection B is a circle. So again, A intersection B will also have the same homology group. So H1 of A intersection B would be integers. And again, a reduced will be zero, 
and h i would be zero for i greater or equal to two. So now we focus on the torus. So this is the torus. You glue it together. You get something like this. Yeah, this is the top part. This is the bottom part. Now this is half of the torus. So when you bend it like this, then what you get is this uh, pink arrow is facing up. The other pink arrow is facing down. So you have this opposite facing arrows, and that is important because what we are going to do is we are going to uh, put plus one here and minus one here and then you glue this with other half torus similarly these two arrows are going in opposite directions so you have some plus one here and minus one here just in to take orientations into account so there are two circles here so again this a is homotopically equivalent to a circle so since a is homotopically equivalent to a circle then in, you can clearly say that its reduced homology group is going to be zero for both A and B. Then uh, the first homology group is integers and then the higher homology groups are all zero for both A and B. But now notice A intersection B is two circles. So since there are two circles, the homology group now would be integers direct sum with integers and uh, these two circles are there then that means your reduced homology group would be just integers yeah because um, otherwise your homology group for two circles would have been integers direct sum integers and we are uh, dropping one of the integers because we are taking reduced so reduced is integers and uh, h1 is integers plus integers and h2 is again zero because uh, these two circles are just one complexes so that is uh, we have just developed the machinery and now let us look at the sequences so this is the sequence for the Klein bottle. This is the meyer weitorus sequence. So notice that before H2 comes here, there will be a term coming for H2A direct sum with H2 of B for Klein bottle. So this K stands for Klein bottle. Now H2A and H2B are we are working in this figure right here now both of them are zero this is zero and this is zero so you get zero right here and the reduced homology groups are also zero so after h1 k will come h0 a intersection b h0 a intersection b and we are working in the reduced version so h0 a intersection b would be zero because a intersection b is just a circle so h zero of a intersection b would be integers but when you reduce it it will just become zero so you get a zero here so this is the meyer weitorus sequence now the interesting map here is this phi so what does this map phi do it takes a intersection b which is an integer so say one this is carried to two parts h1 a and h1 b so it is mapped by a degree two map you have plus one here and minus one here taking into account the orientation so this one gets mapped to two and minus two because you have a degree two map here here there's degree one map these are just getting attached like this but on a there are two circles coming if you deformation retract this these two circles will kind of match up in a so this is the sequence for torus now here a intersection b became zero but here a intersection b does not become zero it is still integer so you have to keep this here although if you go further down then it will be zero because uh, for a single circle this is zero and so is b similarly here h2a and h2b are zero same case because they deformation retract to a circle now what is this map phi here this map phi here this will take 
now h1 a intersection b is integer plus integer so there are two integers say n and m now these integers n and m this n is associated say to this circle and this m is associated to this circle so this is getting deformation retracted so say this gets mapped so these will get mapped separately in h1 a there is a combination getting mapped so say n minus m and h1 b opposite circle say you get minus n plus m so this is the mapping which is getting done simply by looking at this this is degree one mapping but both n and m are getting combined in both a and b so a intersection b consists of two circles and these circles get deformation retracted to both a and b and that is why we are combining these two circles so because when a deformation retracts both these circles become one so you have n minus n or minus n plus m so just taking opposite signs so this is again meyer white torus uh, sequence for torus now the interesting map is phi let me mark this phi is right here phi is right here so now after this we just use an algorithm this is a long exact sequence we want to break it at phi now instead of h2 h1 whatever think of them as modules if these are modules then there is a simple result what it does is you want to break here focus on this arrow so copy the sequence behind it till this arrow phi and then write image of phi going to zero and then just copy this part as it is and then modulo this by image of phi h1 k0 so this is a standard trick so instead of h1 a h1 b consider there is a module m here then you will write co kernel here and image here so this is a standard technique that is you fix the map phi and then just break it this uh, by this formula there's nothing special about h1 a plus h1 b here uh, you could write any module here so again uh, similarly here we want to break the sequence at phi this is a long exact sequence so you the sequence behind it you copy as such right image of phi going to zero and then copy this sequence further ahead and then just modulo out this h1 a plus h1 b by image of phi so think this, if this was a module m you would have just written m over image of phi so this is a technique to split long exact sequence into short exact sequences and this is going to help our solution so we focus on this map first so what is image of phi image of phi we said was a degree 2 map so this would be 2z this is integers so this map is injective map so if this map is injective that means this has to be zero so this is injective in the sense it is multiplication by 2 so that is how z will get mapped to 2z and therefore the kernel of this map is 0 because this is an injective map multiplication by 2 so the image of this map has to be 0 kernel is equal to image in the short exact sequence so h2k is 0 this map injects itself the image is equal to the kernel and the kernel here is 0 multiplication by 2 has kernel 0 now look at this map so this map I will rewrite 0 so h1a plus h1b is integer direct sum integer image of 5 we said was multiplication by 2 you have h1k goes to 0 so this is an iso so obviously now you have h1k is equal to integer direct sum z2 now look at the torus so we are going to rewrite this 0 h2t is what we want to find out we are given h1a intersection b is integer direct sum with integer the n comma m so notice that we had written h1a intersection b is integer direct sum integer this goes to image of phi and then 0 so first notice what is the kernel of phi kernel of phi is exactly when n is equal to m then n equals to m becomes 0 this also becomes 0 and if n is equal to m that is uh, entire set of integers again so kernel of phi is 0 
and kernel and image have to both match the z plus c so image would also be integers so by rank nullity theorem now so this is z plus z this is z then h2 this is injecting into it this map is surjective this has to be so again notice kernel of this map is n minus m which is will be zero only for n equals to m so that forms entire set of integers and therefore you can say the image of map is also integers because after all z plus z is getting mapped so if kernel is integers then image will be integers this entire thing is getting mapped or you can directly see the image is integers so these uh, these two are dependent upon each other this is just multiplication by minus one of this so again n minus one both these copies are uh, not independent one is minus one multiplication of the other you can see directly this is also integers and then uh, you can use the rank nullity theorem now this part is again easy this this is reduced so reduced means this is integers and this h1 a plus h1 b over image of phi so image of phi is integers this is integers plus integers so now you modulate it out this uh, entire sequence now becomes 0 to h1 of t 2 integers to 0 so again you use the rank nullity theorem this is surjective this map is injective so h1 of t would be integer direct sum integer 